Well, this Bantamweight division, ubiquitously regarded as the deepest in the top 15 right now in the UFC. And this man's the number one contender. He has beaten so many talented fighters to get this title fight. Now we see what the hell he can do. Hey, beat them all, except the champ. Right. It's such a weird thing that you go through so many tough guys, but ultimately the toughest one is the one you get last. So you go through this murderous row of people to earn an opportunity, and now you get to fight the best. The champion is good, man, but this guy believes he has the skill set to take that title from him. Yeah, he's been forged by the experience. He derives so much confidence from the training room, and it all comes down to these 25 minutes or fewer for the number one bantamweight contender. as a goose. I'd be freaking out. This guy's walking to the octagon, smiling ear to ear. Dodson enjoys his job and figures to get off to a good start here tonight. Lands a big right hand early. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Just misses with the left hook. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Frantic pace early on to this one. Target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Dodson gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Dodson gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Lands a quick jab. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Missed with that right hand. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Oh, that body kick landed. The right hand just misses. Nice shot there by the champ. And that 
one certainly found the target. Nice, great shot, great shot. Great he looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. It's time to look Under two minutes to go. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, nice jab. <laughs> trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Nice straight right, Lance. <clears throat> 45 seconds to go here in round one. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well. Oh, Side leg kick. Oh, Five God. minutes in the books. Well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous one. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up. He threw it straight. He threw it long. And over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. All right, here we go. This next round is underway. He got worked in that previous frame. We'll see if he has recovered here as he enters this next round. Don't recover in a minute. So he needs to extend the recovery time. Fight at a slower pace. You cannot go in there slinging leather again, or he'll find the light shut off this time. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. Just missing on that uppercut offering. Dodson's shot is blocked. Outstanding knee the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Good punch. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Right hand on the counter. Both guys appear to land there. Nice front kick. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, Superman punch is good. Body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting at him. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Three minutes to go. Well, he misses with the left punch there. 
All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Left-right combo is good. Quick jab lands there. Oh, that left hand is on point. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Two minutes now to go in round two. He's one. Blocks the shot. Just out of range with that strike. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big shot to the head. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing there. Under a minute to go. Oh, nice. Effective punch there by Dodson. Nice. Nicely done. Big power shot there. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Just missed with the leg kick. Two rounds in the books. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Head kick lands, another one lands right on the side of his head. Nice punch to the head. Oh, nice. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Another nice leg kick. Oh, nice right hand counter. Circling to his right. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
That kick blocked by Dotson. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. Devastating body kick land. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on it. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. in the engagement there. Well, we told you about that hook. There it is. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. And there's a takedown attempt. Two minutes to go in the round. Block that punch. Nicely done defensively. Tag that gut for me. Let's go. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Bleeding now. Nasty cut on his nose. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, going for the takedown here. Throwing that jab, no good. Dodson's strike attempt there is blocked. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stage. 15 seconds. That is a damaging kick that lands. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, move on the hook, and we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Let's go. Let's go. 
Nice jab there by Cuts. Beautiful leg kick lands. Cardio looks great. He's still boxing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him, you see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes long. Trying to establish that jab once again. Dodson gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Oh! Oh, uh, this could just about do it. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to hurt him. Oh, effective use of the jab by Dodson. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Just misses with the straight right. Targeting the body with the kick now. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Just misses there with the left. Huge block there. Good fight here, under two to go. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Looking to land the leg kick now. Dodson strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore. Right. Because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. His nose is all crooked, it's all beat up, it's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Dodson. Big right hook there by the champ. 30 seconds to go. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. He missed with that jab attempt there. Under 20 seconds now to go. Just misses with a left hook there. Big shot lands for both guys. for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. Well, he's done a real good job attacking that cut above the eye, and here is your visual proof. I mean, John, just devastating. These blows were amazing. He was able to land at will, and he opened up a nasty cut over the eye of his opponent. Now he's got to target it. And every time he lands, that blood will start to pour down into the eye, making it real hard to fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at this fifth and final round.
Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. for the champion. Dodson going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, massive knee up top! All right, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. Way to hide that leg kick. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Dodson's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Right on the button. Circling to his right. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Oh! He can't even stand. This work. Another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Under two minutes to go in the fight. Oh, misses with the jab. Dodson swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. range with that kick attempt. Takedown defense holds up. And that one certainly found the target. Looking to land the right just out of range. Redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body. Oh, nice overhand right. Oh, man, he's hurt. One minute to go in the fight. Nice leg kick. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. So there it is.
it is the final horn, a lifetime of work, all building to this moment. And the underdog challenger comes up large with his striking game tonight. He's going to be the new champ. I mean, he came up big in a massive spot. He was the underdog. He wasn't supposed to get this done. He relied on what got him here, the striking, to take the title from the long-reigning champion. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Primetime.